In this grade 12 economics video, we are preparing for the 2025 October November final examinations. We are looking at the possible essays for your paper, too. Yes, we are starting with the possible essays, we will still do the entire scope for paper two, but we are looking first at the possible essays so that you can use that to prepare ahead because the essays are usually the one that gives us all a headache. So, we are going to look at the possible essays for your upcoming paper two. In paper two, the two main topics you're looking at is microeconomics, micro with an MI, uh, not to be confused with the MA that you had in your paper one. And then we also have contemporary economic issues. Once again, in section C, you will only have to answer one of these main topics. I saw a question in the previous video where we were discussing the uh, essay, possible essays for your paper one, where somebody asked, what is the chances that both question six and question uh five will come out of one main topic those chances are very slim one must definitely come from microeconomics and the other one must come from contemporary economic issues so you have to only choose one of these main topics to focus on should you choose microeconomics this is what you can expect to be in your paper you can either expect the possibility of the market structures discussing different market structures the first market structure we have is the perfect is the market market structure of a perfect market another topic of a perfect market another possible essay that could come out of there is discussing the equilibrium positions with an aid of a graph but you would also have to be specific you would also have to be careful if the question specifies that the equilibrium pos positions are supposed to be for a long run or they are supposed to be for a short run so they are th there's a difference there so make sure that you are careful with that then we are looking at the market structures of now the imperfect um market so we're looking at the market structure market structure for a monopoly for an oligopoly and for a monopolistic competition and then the other possible essay that you could have is where you have to compare the two types any two types of market structures so it could either be the perfect competition and monopoly or it could be oligopoly and monopolistic competition so they will ask you either one and that could also just be a main question topic where they are asking you compare the two in the main topic part meaning that in the additional part you will be discussing something else entirely and then there's also one of those way in the main topic you are discussing a monopoly in the additional part they are asking you to discuss a few characteristics of an oligopoly or of a monopolistic competition so the question will Will, will depend it, it is safer to make sure that you are you have covered all your grounds my recommendation is if you had studied a perfect for competition for example in your preparatory examinations then make sure that you focus on the rest of them so that you are fully covered in your knowledge of all the market structures but stick to the main topic that that fell so if you had prepared a perfect competition that means your main topic was macroeconomics so i would still recommend that even with your final continue looking into macroeconomics just make sure that you are filling in the knowledge gaps that you had when you were going into your preparatory but now you are going into the final examination with now a full picture of everything else that is falling in the macroeconomics next we have factors leading to misallocation of resources and the consequences of market failure which are both from the topic market failure Contemporary economic issues has three short topics, which is inflation, tourism, and environmental sustainability. We are going to look at now the possible essays that can come out of those three topics. They are short topics, so this, the, the, the essays coming out of them are straightforward the uh, essay questions so when we start with inflation you will see that the first possible essay that we have out of that topic is the consequences of inflation uh there is a lot of things that are involved in inflation but for essay specifically remember here we are only focusing on the essay so if the possible essay is consequences of inflation then we also have measures to combat inflation now with this one you have to be careful whether the question is asking 
uh, to combat which type of inflation remember we have a demand pull inflation and a cost push inflation so the SATF pick will be specific to say measures to combat demand pull inflation or rather measures to combat cost push inflation these are two different things and you cannot mix them so you have to be clear on what you are discussing then in the topic of tourism we are looking at the effects of tourism and the benefits of tourism as the two possible essays that can come out of that topic and then in environmental sustainability we are looking at the government or rather how the government can ensure sustainability or rather the measures they take to ensure sustainability the question will be given along those lines it will be the government the responsibility and they are trying to make sure that there is development uh, sustainable development and then we are also having a possible essay where they are asking you about the international measures that are taken to ensure sustainable development so either it it's our local government and we are looking at sustainable development in our country so when they're talking about the government obviously we are talking about the government of south africa or it's a global question where we are asking you about the international measures around the world meaning how different nations are working together to make sure that there in there is sustainability in the environment so one is local and one is global so that that's that that's the easiest way to remember them and to differentiate between these two types of essays now once again if you went with contemporary economic issues with your preparatory i would recommend that in your final exam continue with contemporary economic issues maybe you had prepared a consequences of inflation essay just make sure that this time around you include to that knowledge the measures to combat inflation and you're also looking specifically to see okay maybe you were not aware that i was supposed to look at demand pull inflation measures different from cost push inflation so you are just basically perfecting your information and it, the same thing applies to tourism maybe you had prepared for the effects of tourism but you did not get enough time to prepare for the benefits of tourism same thing with the international measures i should also clarify that these are what i recommend you prioritize because i know in the comment section somebody's gonna say but what about this one if you have time also include that one but prioritize these <laughs> recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below